Hi everyone, in this video we're going to perform matrix multiplication using the TI-84 calculator. So the first step is to enter the matrices A and B, and then we'll have to find the product B times A. So to access the matrix menu, you have to hit this blue key here, which says matrix. So because it is a blue key, you have to hit second first. So we'll start by hitting second, and then the x to the negative one key, or the matrix key. And then here you have three choices. You have names, math, and edit. So names is where you access your matrix. Math uh, has a list of commands that you can actually perform on matrices. And edit is where you change the values inside your matrix. So we have to go to the edit menu first in order to enter our matrices. So now that we're in the edit menu, and I got there by hitting the right arrow key, uh, I'll go ahead and select A. So first it asks for the dimension. So the first number is the rows and the second number is the columns. So this matrix has two rows and two columns. So I'm gonna enter two, then hit the right arrow key and then two again and then enter. So in the first row we have one and then you have to hit enter, one, then you hit enter, two, you hit enter, and then negative one. Make sure you use the negative key, which is down here. So negative one, enter. All right, so we've entered our first matrix. Let's double check. One, one, two, negative one. If you're following along this example, feel free to pause the video. I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. So if you're caught up, let's keep going. So second matrix, and now let's change the second one. Whoops, second matrix, let's go to the second. Oh, I, I didn't go to edit. <laughs> so you have to go into edit to change it. So let's go back to edit and then enter. So this is two by two. It's a little bit um, clunky, right? It takes a little bit of getting used to. So negative two, one, four, and then four. So that looks okay. So negative two, one, four, four. Let me get out of here. So second, quit. That's how you get out of stuff, right? Second, quit. Let's go back to the matrix menu. So second matrix. So now we have both of them here. We have A and we have B. Let me just double check. I'm gonna go back to edit and check A. So one, one, two, negative one. Second matrix, go back to edit, check B. Negative two, one, four, four. Second matrix. Now we're in name, so now we can just access our matrix. Whoops. For some reason, when um, if I don't leave the matrix menu, like if I do second matrix, if I do second matrix, check this out, and I hit this, and I do second matrix, and I just go to A, it doesn't work. It doesn't give me the matrix. So you do have to leave the menu. You have to hit second quit. So it's a good habit that whenever you're doing stuff with matrices, like if you're in the matrix menu and you're, you're messing around with this stuff, it's a good idea. If you want to go back to the main screen or do anything on the main screen, hit second and then quit. Okay, so now we can access our matrices. So second matrix. So we have to enter B first. See how it shows up on the main screen now. So it's important to completely exit the matrix menu before you get the matrices on this screen. And then second matrix, and then A, and then you just hit enter, and there is the answer. So recap, you go to second matrix, go over to edit, type everything in, second matrix, go over to edit, type everything in. And now here's the trick. If you decide to do just second matrix, and hit enter, it won't work, you see? You have to completely exit the matrix screen, then go back, right? It's a little bit clunky. So pick B, second matrix, pick A, hit enter, and there it is. So that is the final answer. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. Take care.